So the other day, somebody messaged me about, man, I'm, I worry too much. Let's talk about worry for a second. I mean, you know, uh, according to the Bureau of Standards, if there were a dense fog, like 100 feet deep over seven city blocks, right? That's a lot of fog, right? And you compacted all that together, it wouldn't even fill up a drinking glass. It's kind of like the percentage of our worry, like literally 40% of the stuff we worry about never happens. 30% is stuff that happened in the past that all the worry in the world would never fix. Okay, and then 12% are worries about our health. And then 10% is like little petty things. So literally, out of 100% of the worry, only 8% is legitimate worry. And you got to think about that for a second. And I'm raising my hand right now. I'm guilty of it. Worrying about stuff that's not going to happen. You know, it's funny. Sometimes it's like, I think about one little thing that could happen. You know, it's like, okay, this guy cuts in front of me. And what if, what if he hits my car? And, and then what if I get mad and get out and all of a sudden we get into a fight and all of a sudden, like, all oh, like things spiral out of control. I mean, I'm sure things like happen to that, like that in your brain too. You start to think about things and they spiral out of control. Like, okay, you couldn't pay this bill and all of a sudden they shut this off and all of a sudden everything like downward spirals. And you're like, oh my God, it's crazy, but it doesn't happen. And, you know, so you might be asking, well, Jefferson, well, how do you not worry? Well, you have to realize, you have to catch yourself in the act of worrying. You know, like, okay, is this is this really something that's valid here? And you have to catch yourself. And part of it's awareness, you know? But sometimes we have this habit of worrying. Once again, I'm raising my hand here, but we're not aware of it. We just sit there and we dwell and we dwell and dwell. And we all have heard is what you focus on expands, right? Obviously, you don't want bad things and have them expanding your life, right? But the other thing that I, I want to share with you too is, you know, there's a lot of things like the whole attraction movement, okay? I, I get it. But once again, I mean, if you if you are consistent and you create a habit and you're doing something, but you accidentally kind of worry about something bad, it's not not everything's going to fall to pieces. OK, don't I guess don't worry about you worrying so much sometimes. Right. I think obviously we're not going to fix anything by worrying about something, you know, and if you're a parent and you've got kids out there and they're, you know, driving a car or whatever, you know, that's a legitimate worry. But once again, it's is it really going to happen? Okay. No, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't, but we have that awareness of, okay, am I dwelling on something that's probably not going to happen? Right. And, and so, you know, your bills, your career, things like that, as long as you're being diligent and you're being honorable and you're respecting people and you're doing a job well done, or if not, maybe you're doing more. I think it would be a good thing to do more than what you're called or paid to do. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about that. And you know what? If, you're so if, if, if you think you're valuable and you are as a person, of course, but in the marketplace, if you're creating more value, guess what? You're not going to get fired. See, it's, it's, it's Steve Martin said this a long time ago. You know, you want to be so valuable that they don't want to fire you. And so once again, let's get back to the word worry for a second. It's something that you do in your head. You're doing it to yourself. And yes, I've done it to myself and I do it to myself still. But, you know, I'm just speaking to something that we all do. And just by watching this video, you're now aware of how much of you worrying really doesn't move the needle in your life. It, it creates less peace when you worry. You get more ulcers in your stomach when you worry. And so let's drop the habit of worrying. Let's think about things that you can control. And then also the things that you can't control, having faith that it's going to turn out to be the best. And once again, we've all had bad things happen to us in the past, but we're still alive today. We're resilient. We've learned from those things that have happened. And so I just think it's a way that uh, we, we, we get experience through life and we're able to help other people through those bad things that have happened in their life. Let's be grateful and hopeful for the great things that are going to happen in the future. And so let's be focused on that versus focusing on what we can't fix and worrying about things that we have no control over. Let's focus on the things that we can control and have faith and, and, and really exercise that muscle so that you can have a more peaceful life. All right. So let's stop worrying. Let's get out to our next destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.